Bob Ferranti was on the phone to 911. Somebody coming now, one, what's the address you might Hello, hello, please, please, please. His wife slumped on the kitchen floor, gasping for breath. The dispatcher asked the husband what he was seeing. I think my wife is having a stroke. Steve Mason, then a paramedic with EMS Pittsburgh, and his partner arrived at the Ferrante home to find a woman in very bad shape. She was lying on her back on the kitchen floor. Her eyes were open and she was unresponsive. An hour after walking home from the medical center where she worked, Dr. Autumn Klein, seen here in hospital surveillance footage, was back as a gravely ill patient in its emergency room. And whatever was happening to her was a medical mystery to the team trying to keep her alive. Then they saw the blood, so neon red, so out of their experience. Dr. Autumn Klein had been rushed by ambulance to the ER of the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center after slumping to the kitchen floor of her home. We thought that there was definitely a possibility of a stroke, and we knew that she was in critical condition. Now the trauma team surrounding her was trying desperately to keep her vital signs going. Alan Jennings, at the time a reporter with NBC's Pittsburgh affiliate WPXI, covered the story. He recounted what doctors later said about that night. She had this blank stare in her eyes, uh, barely a pulse. And they didn't know what had happened to her? No, they didn't. Autumn was struggling to breathe. And then in comes uh, the ventilator. The ventilator, the machines are the now machines taking over. Taking over to, to keep her alive so they could, until they could determine what in the world was going on. At some point, Alan, do they realize that this is one of their own? This is that brilliant young doctor that works in the women's neurology unit? They did at one point. I don't know that they would have treated anyone any, any differently, but she was one of them, one of the team. Autumn's husband and family now had funeral plans to make and even darker days to get through. But one person wasn't done with the mysterious case of Autumn Klein. His work was just getting started. Dr. Todd Lukasevic, associate medical examiner for Allegheny County, performed the autopsy on Autumn. It was regarded as a sudden, unexpected death. Which meant the county needed to figure out why this otherwise healthy woman was dead. There was no reason to suspect fertility hormones, vitamins, or supplements like creatine could have led to her collapse. Her brain showed no signs of a stroke, though an examination of the heart did reveal an abnormally shaped heart valve. It's a congenital anomaly found in approximately 2% of the population. Does it lead to early death? Not in your 40s. Uh, you need to be symptomatic. At the conclusion of Autumn Klein's autopsy, the medical examiner was perplexed as to what killed this woman. I'm not seeing anything. I'm seeing a healthy white female that for all intents and purposes should be alive. On the form that asked for cause of death, Dr. Lukasevic wrote pending, no definitive answer. But in a few days time, he would have more information. The blood work was back from the lab. Autumn Klein had suffered a very unnatural death.